In today's video, we're gonna make this beautiful modified bloom placemat. It is 12 by 14 inches and it is absolutely a beautiful piece. And if you're a creator like me and you want to create this yourself, this is going to be the video you need, step-by-step -step instructional video to show you just how to do it. So that being said, I'm gonna get you down and let's paint. Hi everyone, I hope you're well. I am Angela Bliss and today I am doing the placemats, the glass placemats. These are 12 by 14 inch. They are a printed glass board with non-slip grips. Basically the same thing as the eight by eight cutting boards, except for these are 12 by 14. These I found on sale at Bargain Hunt for $4.99. So let's get busy painting on this. So I have one here and it is taped on the back and this plastic is still on the back so that I don't ruin it. And I am going to cut this in half like this. Yep, yep, like that. I got a new color. It is called What Other Than Blissful Blue from Sherwin-Williams. I had picked another color. I saw this one and I just had to have it. I have got my regular PPG in white. I am doing a split base modified blue, of course. I hope that you're not getting tired of the modified blooms, but I really sell a lot of these, so I tend to do this a lot, but this is a new color, so, uh, and this is bigger, a bigger piece of glass, so let's uh, see if we can get this worked out, so. I hope you guys are enjoying my channel. I'm doing my best to make better videos. I would really like to hear from you though. So if you're watching my videos and you have been watching my videos for a while and you've seen the changes that I'm trying to make, let me know if they're positive. Let me know if you like them. Let me know, let's say, I wanna get back to maybe some beginner things for new pour painters. So if you guys see any techniques that you'd like me to revisit or that I haven't visited on my channel, please leave that in the comments so that I will know kind of what you guys are looking for and what you need help with. Okay. Spin it just a little bit. Now on these modified blooms I don't leave a lot of paint because you don't spin it out a whole lot and then once you start the modifying you don't really spin it out. So I'm just getting it spread out. I'm gonna put the blooms right here and I just like to add a little bit more paint because that's where I'm blowing under and I just want a little bit more body to grab right on top of the glass. I'm gonna do the same thing on the white side. There we go. All right, so now I have a couple of colors that I don't know. Well, I have one color that I don't know what it is. It was a color that I had made for Amber Goodwin when I made her ornaments and took them to her when I went to the FAE in Asheville. So I don't know exactly what colors those are right now, but I will find that video of those ornaments and I will put that in the description box. So that's the color I'm gonna start with. It's kind of like a blue turquoise, like a cobalt blue turquoise kind of. Very pretty. I'm going to put it on the blue side and I'm gonna do three blooms. I'm gonna do one right in the middle. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty contrast, that's for sure. Right there. And I've got a sky blue light. And I'm going to do right opposite side on the white side. I'm so glad you guys are here. I'm so proud of my channel. I'm so proud of my subscribers. I just get such a joy painting for you. I just wanted to say I appreciate you guys so much. That was Tail Feather. This is Aspen. I'm gonna put another little bit right here because I put that in the wrong spot just because I wanted it in the white. Okay, I have White Haven. It is an interference TLP, kind of like a pale gold. Just gonna drizzle it over it. Give it a little shimmer. And then I have a custom gold that I made. Not sure what golds are in it, but I will put them in the description box. Just a little bit, like that. Now I have a white cell activator that is titanium white Amsterdam. And I have a blue black by Atelier that I'm going to use first. Now these are mixed with Australian Floetrol. One part paint, three parts Floetrol just a drop of white on top. And I'm gonna use the world's smallest blower. You can get your attachments like this. This one's got paint all over it, but yours will be new. <laughs> you can get these from Tracy Reed's Etsy store. So we're gonna get started. I've taken the little attachment off. 
So I'm going to blow this in with this and then I'm going to put the attachment back on. That was just not grabbing it enough because my paints are a little thicker, so I'm going to use this other attachment. Oh, so pretty. Love this blue. I love the aspen in here too underneath. It's really pretty. I'm going to spin this out a little bit. I just want the blooms to come over the edges a little bit and spread out. Spin it one more time. I'm also going to take this and blow, it, blow the edges out just a little more. wanted to give it a little more width out that way. Okay, now let's do some modifying. I have a little dotting tool here um, that I bought from the Dollar Tree. I got three in a package for like $1.25. Really great tools and they're silicone or plastic, so I think they're silicone. So you're able to clean them off really easily. I'm just getting some of those little white dots. All right, so I'm just going to bring this blue down here See, that makes all the difference, just the squigglies in the middle. <laughs> Beautiful. I don't do a whole lot of modifying. Don't need to with these. Or at least I don't feel like I need to. Let me know if you think I should do more modifying. I like them pretty simple. I have to do a couple of those little spirals inside. Um, just to kind of break it up a little bit. Only come through here. This is going to really sparkle. Super pretty, very, very beautiful. All right guys, so I'm going to, that's it. I'm gonna wipe the edges and I'm going to move this out of this bucket and then I'll come back and show you guys the wet results. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I've turned the air on because it was hot. Um, but here is the finished result. Gonna shimmer. There he is. So pretty. And I would place it on the table like this. Twelve by fourteen. 
Can't wait for you guys to see it resin. Oh, it's gonna be pretty. Pretty. 